Recently, one of the astronomical discoveries was announced, which is considered the most important scientific discovery occurred during the last 100 years. On April 2019 the first black hole in history was filmed, this event is no less important than any other events such as the discovery of Mars or the rest of the planets. And this step is considered a major breakthrough in physics and science in general, but so further are still some puzzling questions for some such as how this black hole was photographed, which is millions of light years away from us. How was body completely invisible photographed? And what is the benefit that comes back to humanity just because we could photograph a black hole in outer space? Welcome to our channel, this episode we will talk about the new discovered black hole. Before, the idea of photographing a black hole in space was just a fantasy for humans. But all of this changed completely, once the National Science Foundation conference was held in the United States, in which a real picture of one of the black holes falling into a galaxy 54 million light years away was displayed, in an incident that is the first of its kind in all human history. And to this extent, all the images we were seeing for black holes, both in documentaries and in movies, it was just predictions and simulations by scientists and intellectuals, and none of them were any real image. They were all imaginary images of some simple readings. This achievement was shared by 200 scientists, and eight groups of telescopes scattered in different places on the Earth's surface are used. And if you still wonder about the reason that is causing the scientific community to be upside down just for a picture that was announced, let me tell you that the scientific community has been waiting for this event for more than two years. The image that was announced is not just picture, but it is the key to one of the cosmic secrets and an answer to questions confused physicists for hundreds of years, and is considered a big step for humanity on its way to understanding the universe. But at the beginning let us answer some logical questions. How scientists filmed the black hole. And more importantly how they could know from the beginning that black holes exist even though they are invisible bodies and no one can see them. Black holes in fact, is more than invisible bodies, it doesn't reflect light. Unlike its name which is black holes, black holes are not a hole in space, but they are round mass similar to the sun or earth. So somehow if we were able to go to space to a place where a black hole is located, and we started to look at this hole with our naked eyes, we will not see anything. And here comes the question, how did scientists predict black holes? The answer is that if you do not see something, this is not an evidence that it does not exist, but it is sufficient to infer the existence of this thing by means other than direct vision. For example, atoms and electrons, we know almost everything about them without seeing even a part of them, and this is the same case with black holes. The story began when scientists noticed a strange scene while observing some stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way which are about 26,000 light years away from our solar system. And because many people asked me about the light year and how much does it equal comparing a year of Earth? I would like to explain it again here that the light year is a unit to measure the distance not to measure time, which is the distance that light cuts in a whole year. This group of stars was observed by a research team using infrared telescopes and the scene was as follow. The stars that were observed, all of which were rotating in fixed paths around a certain point. The strange here that this point was a vacuum, and here a new question emerged. Why are these giant stars rotating around a point of emptiness? And is this point really a vacuum? Or something else we can't see? And the logical answer at the time was that the point stars rotate around is not a vacuum or anything like that but a huge object that exists in space and has a huge ability to attract stars. Which Einstein exactly said, about 100 years ago. Astronomers are completely confident in the existence of black holes, due to what has been mentioned from the rotation of stars and Einstein's theory. In addition, they have observed a huge group of ultraviolet rays and enormous thermal reflections emitted from invisible points in space. 
Although the black hole tries to hide in the universe, but things like those expose its place. And the invisible point from which those rays are emitted and some stars are all rotating around, are evidence confirming the existence of the black holes in the place. But the curiosity of humans has not stopped until here. And we decide to cut doubt with certainty and try to photograph the black hole. And thus put Albert Einstein's theories under the most difficult test if the shape of the hole appeared to match the perceptions that Einstein said, then the theories of relativity are true and do not have any mistakes. But if the shape of the hole appears different from the perception, unfortunately, the theory of relativity will be wrong which is considered a huge setback for physics sciences. The imaged black hole is millions of light years away from us, and it takes a very, very large telescope to perform the imaging mission. It's like trying to photograph an ant on the surface of the moon. Scientifically, in order to capture a clear image of a black hole that is so far away from us, we need a telescope that is approximately the size of the Earth which is of course impossible. That is why the scientists resorted to a simple scientific trick, which was separate parts of the black hole are to be photographed, and eventually collected in one image. Like a puzzle game. Although it is a very difficult task, it has shown unrivaled success. Starting in April 2017, the research team began working on the project, and the basic idea they worked on was to create a network of telescopes across the globe consisting of eight groups of telescopes connected with each other, and scattered in different countries. In France, Spain, Greenland, Mexico, Chile, Hawaii, USA, and Antarctica. So that this network is equal to a telescope equal to the size of the Earth. And they called it the Event Horizon Telescope which actually succeed in imaging the black hole. One of the most frequently asked questions on the subject of scientists photographing a black hole is how could they photograph an invisible object? Of course the black hole is invisible because its gravity is very high, so it absorbs light as well, and it does not reverse it again, and thus appears as nil or vacuum. The answer lies in the fact that there are rings of rays that are circular in shape and are located at the periphery of the black hole and these are the ones that determine its shape, location, and size. Within the circular rings there is a circular opaque region that is the hole itself. As for the formation of circular radioactive rings around the hole, this is because of the materials that fall inside it as a result of its enormous gravity. These materials fall inside the black hole at very high speeds, and during their fall collide with each other making them heat up to very high temperatures greater than the temperature of nuclear fusion by about 14 times. Causes the release of radio rays and X-rays in huge quantities, resulting in the form of beautiful orange circles that shine around the hole which were observed by telescopes. In 1916, Einstein predicted in the theory of general relativity the existence of huge bodies that have a tremendous ability to swallow anything approaching them, and their gravity is infinite, and he called them black holes. He also predicted that it is surrounded by a circular horizon from the outside, and any object entering the horizon is completely disintegrated before it is swallowed by the hole, and its disintegration produces terrible energy even if this object is the light itself. This information revealed by Albert Einstein more than a 100 years ago reached these conclusions without telescopes or any modern instruments, but reached them only using paper and pen and some equations. And over time and with the advent of modern times clear evidences emerged about the existence of these objects indeed. And finally we were able to photograph them and discovered that they are exactly the same perception that Einstein said, and subject to the law of general relativity, which is considered a new victory for Albert even after his death. The images that were shown of the black hole confirmed the correctness of the theory of relativity, and this achievement is considered the door to solve one of the most difficult riddles for scientists, which is trying to link two theories that the movement of bodies subjects to them in the entire universe. General relativity, which regulates the movement of large-sized objects in outer space. 
and theories of quantum mechanics, which explain the movement of atoms, electrons, and infinitesimal objects. Today scientists are still striving to find the link between the two theories, and they have great hope that black holes are this link. After the announcement in the conference announcing the image of the black hole, many pages started to promote the idea that these black holes are the sweeping neighbors that were mentioned in the Quran. But the certainty of such an issue needs evidence. At the end, do you think that scientists will one day arrive at a theory that links to Einstein's theories and theories of quantum mechanics? And what kind of possibilities mankind can achieve at the time using a theory like this? Leave your opinion in the comments, and if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel, and click the bell, so you stay tuned with our latest videos.